Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial how to get a live real-time reaction count on your Facebook live stream. So today I will show you how you can set up your own live stream, voting live stream on Facebook. Uh, please remember there are a few things you have to do, uh, but it isn't really hard because if I can do it, you can do it also. Um, it's a really cool feature. feature. Uh, I also, also uh, use it a couple of times already, uh, but tonight I will show you how you can set up your own uh, live stream voting live stream so first of all you have to create an image uh, as you can see this is the raw image I created in the Photoshop uh, you can use Photoshop or maybe you got a friend who use Photoshop or you can create your own image on um, an, a different program uh, please remember the first step is um, when you create this image you have to use uh, some proportions um, I will, I will put it down in the description below and also you have to give your uh, image uh, this name so it's bg.gpg sorry guys um, so if you've created your image we can uh, start setting up your own uh, Facebook uh, uh, counting or voting live stream so first of all guys um, you have to download this software uh, it calls the it, it calls open broadcast software it's available for Mac um, and also Windows so uh, it's free it's free uh, software you need to stream your video from here to Facebook and we will I will show you later how uh, how we're gonna use it so download this first uh, after you did that we have to go to Facebook of course uh, please go to developers.facebook.com and when you visit the site after that we go to support I'm sorry guys it's in Dutch but the rest is in English so we, we will I'll talk you through um, the next step we need to do is to create an action to access token tool so it's not really that hard to create that if you don't know how you have to create it I will put it also in the description below or feel free to ask and I will uh, answer your questions as soon as possible so you have to create a token don't forget to verify verify it um, because if you don't do that you won't be able to use the, the code um, so I, I, I call it live stream you can give it a, a name you want uh, but I think for me it's uh, it's the most easiest uh, way to give it this name so guys please copy this token code and after you did that we go to the file you just downloaded from the description below and I will open the file and then I will show you some uh, so as you can see there are some documents in here there are only two documents really important that's the friends.html file and also the background image uh, we just created so uh, you have to put the uh, the background image with the same name like this uh, in this file so we have to open the HTML file uh, I open it with text editor so after you did that we have to search for it's not that hard but we have to search for this line paste your Facebook access token here so between here you paste your token and after you did that you go to file and save it again uh, we need it one more time later so don't quit it I'll put it here and I also quit that one alright guys um, so we've now created the token and we already downloaded the software so I will open it right now sometimes it takes time but alright here we are um, as you can see I already did one so I will delete this one so it won't be alright okay um, oh there it is uh, but be, to be sure we create a new one uh, I will call it Facebook live voting number one okay after you did that you go to here and you go to add 
So I right click, then you go to browser source, create new one, click OK, go to local file and then click to browse. We have to search for the French, French file we just downloaded. So it's, in my case it's on my desktop as I just showed you. It's in here. And I'll do it like this. So here it is. Click on that one. Now it's really important you use the same proportions as the background image. So in this case, so everyone needs to use this one. 90, 20 to 1280. All right. So guys, if you create your background image, make sure you get these proportions because else it won't work. Click on OK and you will see it's it will appear here so but the image is a bit big so go to transform and click on fit the screen so now you can see the image is already in here with the heart and the thumb uh, but there's no counting but we'll fix that later on um, that's for now so then we go to your Facebook page in my case this one uh, then you go to publication tools uh, sorry guys this is also in Dutch but I will talk you through so don't worry we have to set up the live stream right now so it depends on how fast my laptop is on the moment but you go to library video library and you see the button live over here so click on this button okay guys you can see the two things over here the server URL and the stream key remember the stream key is your key you have to use or you have to change every time uh, you wanna you wanna use the the live stream um, live stream voting so in my case this is always the same but I will have to copy this one all right, copy. Then you go to the program you just downloaded, OBS. Go to settings and go to stream. As you can see, you have to put over here the key we just copied. All right. Then click on OK. OK. Then go back to Facebook and click on Next. alright so you will see it's offline uh, but we will change it directly so go back to the OBS software and click on start streaming and it takes some time sometimes it takes 20 seconds or 30 seconds so we have to see so as you can see it's already start streaming to your Facebook page not for the so it's you didn't publicate it so it's only you are able to see the live stream at the moment there it is alright uh, give it a title in this case left or right that's the description I'm sorry in here left or right okay you can give it a tag in this case it's koi fish alright okay here we go uh, after you did that click on starting the live stream so now it's starting but you if you can see there's no counting yet but we will fix it within a minute um, so there he is we have to wait for I think five seconds okay we have to do one more thing guys go to this permalinks show permalinks and now you can see the post ID it's over here copy the post ID and go back to the software uh, no I'm sorry go back to the files the friend file and as you can see you have to paste the post ID over here then click on save again you don't have to stop streaming just go on like you did before alright then we go to the OBS software so as you can see there is no numbers inside uh, but we will fix it so click on the right mouse button go to properties 
and just click on OK. Then he will re the the stream will refresh, as you can see. Uh, this is also taking a few seconds. There we are. And there it is. So you can see it's already streaming and um, the numbers are in. So everybody uh, is able to vote now. And as you can see, we're live and it's working. Um, it takes some time, so this one will refresh also within 20 seconds, and then the the number or the the the, the numbers one, two, or zero will also appear in your video. Uh, that's it. That's the only thing you have to do. So if you liked the video, please subscribe. Um, I will do some more videos in the future.